Good morning, Josh. I spoke with Heidi earlier and she told me that you would be the best one to view this video. My name is Scott Walker and I want to show you three things you can do today to help bring in more customers to your business. Most likely you're sitting there asking yourself, why would I be doing this and what's in it for me? Well, oftentimes most local business owners are too busy taking care of customers and employees to learn how the internet can benefit them and their company. Other times the hesitation they have is to hire someone who can help, but they don't know who an expert is. So I like to make these <clears throat> attack plans and give them away for free. Some people take this plan and implement it themselves, but most people call me back so I can help out. So if by the end of this video you've liked what you've heard and you can see that I have a lot of tricks up my sleeve that can help your business, shoot me a message back and we can chat. Or if at the end of this video you simply want to take this free attack plan I gave you and do it yourself, that works for me too. So now, let me show you the three things that will set your company above your competition and not waste any more of your time or mine. The first thing I want to go over is content. And content is pretty much all the words that you have <clears throat> on your website. So pretty much all these down here. I use a free tool called SEO Quakes. It just gives me a word count on your website. And so in Google's eyes, you need to have 1,500 to 2,000 words on your website to be an authority in Google's eyes. And you're looking at 182 right now. Um, that also is dependent upon your competition and the number of keywords needed. And a keyword is anything someone might type into Google looking for a particular service or product. In your content, you can place those keywords throughout to tell Google exactly what terms you want your website found for. For example, if you're a plumbing company in West Jordan, that is a key word. <clears throat> One place you could always hide these is if you can save an image as, and you see this Atom Shop right here, instead of having it saved as Atom Shop, you could have it as Plumbing West Jordan, and then the Google robots will crawl your website, and they'll look at all the text behind the pictures, as well as the in the content of it itself. And so those are a couple of things that, you know, the first thing that you need to take care of is your content and also enrich it with keywords. Um, if you look right here, looking at Plumbing West Jordan, you do have your Google guaranteed services. Sometimes there's ads underneath it, and then you get into the Google business profile or the Google map pack. <clears throat> and the thing about this is 75% of people who are searching for this particular keyword stop right here because Google trusts these companies above the rest. And so if you're not ranking in these first three, yeah, you could be ranking possibly in, you know, the organic se section down here, but a lot of people stop right here. So if you don't have that, if you're not up here, you're losing a lot of online traffic. The next thing I want to go over are backlinks. And a backlink is when one website points to another with a like a clickable hypertext right here or a button and so if i go to their website right here i did want to show you this this is you know valley plumbing and they have they're in that range of that 1500 to 2000 words uh, but the backlinks act like an endorsement of your website from others which google uses to build trust in your business by seeing others vouching for you it's literally like a giant popularity contest where the person or website with most people pointing back to them wins and you do have to take into account not all websites are or not all backlinks are created equal so it's worth noting to stay in inside your industry and or local websites will work the best for that popularity contest this right here is Arif's. it's a paid tool that i use it costs about 200 dollars a month if you were to implement this strategy by yourself uh, just google free backlink checkers and they could kind of look over this stuff for you um, without having to pay there's a few things I want to bring your attention to. The first off is your UR rating. <clears throat> and this is the strength or trust that Google has in your website, the URL. And then this is the DR rating. And this is the strength of your backlink or your popularity contest right here. You're only showing 38 backlinks and 21 referring domains. Whereas your competitors right here, they have a really good UR rating and a decent popularity contest. But they have 1,800 backlinks and with 346 referring domains back to your website. 3821, 1800, 346. So, I mean, just having those, they're going to be more popular, and that's one of the reasons why they're ranking up here in the Google Map Pack. Which brings me to my next point, is citations, and the last thing I want to talk about. Um, a citation is anywhere your business name, number, and address. Name, address, phone number. Um, 
show up exactly as per your Google business profile. And a citation helps you rank in this map pack, which is extremely helpful for local businesses since these can generate huge amounts of revenue, which I'll go over in just a second. Um, and a citation includes directories like Yelp, Angie's, Expertise, the Better Business Bureau, all of those and hundreds of others you've heard of. Social media accounts are great too. The idea is that your brand begins to be found by Google all over the internet, and the larger your online presence is, the more Google trusts you. So once Google sees you more often than these competitors, the more likely it is to have you rank above them. So once you have your content, your backlinks and citations come together and you start to outgrow your competitors, here's kind of what you could be looking at and why it is so worth it. So once again, you have zero organic traffic where these guys have 4,200 people coming to their website each and every month. So just as a good rule of thumb in your industry, about 10% of those people are ready to purchase a service or product that you have to offer. So you're looking at 420 people at that point. Out of those 420, about half of them will convert into paying customers. So you're looking at about 210 new customers each and every month that you could possibly be taking from. And that's just from their online presence alone. I'm not sure what your margins are, but I imagine that will generate some pretty decent revenue. Also, there are usually many more keywords you could use to generate more and more traffic leads. Like just because you're in West Jordan doesn't mean you can't work in, you know, neighboring cities. And so those keywords could also be added so that Google knows you work in those other areas. But this is what I do for a living, and I'm creating this video for you to help you start generating leads online. And if you do find yourself wanting to scale your business, uh, feel free to reach out and I can help you with some more information or we can talk about your goals and I can do the research to find out exactly what could be realistic for you and what it might take to reach those goals. All I ask is for some feedback saying whether this was helpful or not from you. Again, my name's Scott Walker. Feel free to reach out as my door is always open. Thanks so much for watching. I really hope this helped you and your business, whether you go with me or not. And I hope to hear from you soon. Have a great day.